Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. God Squad. What it is, man. Look, look, man. I'm I've been seeing video galore about this dude. And um, I've been watching a couple of his fights, watched some highlight film, all that shit. And um, Subriel Matias is a good fighter. He's being promoted very well. He's being pushed very well. But he ain't that good, bro. He's good. Motherfucker can fight. Somebody going to come up with this 19 win, 19 knockouts, all that shit, bro. He does not have devastating power. Like, devastating. Okay? If he hits you, can he hurt you? Yes. A lot of fighters, if they hit you, they'll hurt you if they catch you flush, clean. Okay? Do I think Sabriel Matias could beat Tiafimo? No. Do I think he could beat Ryan Garcia? Yes. Too much pressure. Pressure, uh, bus pipes. It'd be too much pressure. The only thing I would worry about with Sabriel fighting uh Ryan is the fact that Sabriel get he does get hit. He don't got defense. Y'all get so caught up in the offensive aspect of a fighter, you forget that there are other fundamentals that a person needs to be successful in the sport of boxing. And Sabriel Matias is not a defensively sound fighter. He has decent he has decent to good offense. He come forward, he gonna throw some punches, he gonna break it down, where he out type shit. But does he get hit? Have I seen him get hit coming in, throwing his shots? Yep. Have I seen him get hit with certain shit? If he got hit with, with other fighters, he ain't going to come forward like that? Yep. That's why I'm telling you he's being overhyped. I don't want to say he's overrated because um, I haven't seen him fight somebody that's highly rated. Basically, watch him. To me, Errol Spence was overrated based on the way he looked against Terrence Crawford and now motherfuckers want to say he wasn't he didn't look like himself and all this bullshit whatever the fuck anyway but they knew what the fuck was going on the whole time anyway so Sabril Matias is a straight up and down fighter he don't really got no special effects to me in my personal humble opinion I think he's a good fighter but I see when he goes up against an actual raw dog slick boxer that actually know what he doing not the slick boxers that appear to be slick but they really just once you catch their rhythm it's over with the ones that can switch up their rhythm like Devin Haney Tiafimo Lopez type shit those type of dudes mm, gonna give him fits gonna give him problems you know what I'm saying because Tiafimo he could punch and he's a slick boxer, okay? Devin is going to keep him on the outside all night. Just keep him on the outside. Keep him on the outside. Don't let him in. Keep him on the outside. That's all Devin going to do. That's all any raw dog boxer going to do. Keep him on the outside. Most fighters will probably get caught up with Sabriel fighting him on the inside. And I think that's what people... Is, is is hyping on or banking on is is the mistake of fighting him on the inside now that's not to say that he's the best inside fighter at 140 because i don't believe he's the best inside fighter at 140 i honestly believe that jose ramirez is one of the best if not the best inside fighter at 140 also i don't think uh um sabriel matias could be jack catterall i don't jack catterall slick and he know how to stay in the pocket. He slick in the pocket. No. Mm -mm. No. I don't see it. So, do I think he's a good fighter? Yes. Do I think he has a potential to be a world champion? Yes. Do I think he will be a world champion based on the um, the vacancy of belts at 140? Yes. But do I see him beating the likes of a Devin Haney, a Tiafimo Lopez? Um... I do see he could beat Regis, but I don't think he could beat Regis like that. I think Regis could edge out a split decision because he'll catch him with certain shit. So I don't see him beating a Regis progress, even though uh, we saw what Regis did last night. I don't see him beating a Regis progress. No disrespect to uh, uh, Sabriel Matias. I don't see that happening. I know some people may disagree with that, and that's fine. Feel free to give me your opinion in the comments section. But I don't see Sabriel Matias beating the top of the top of the division based on the fact that I don't see him having... Um, uh, I don't see him having that, that wow punching power. 
I, when I see him beating people, it's mainly because he's basically fighting somebody who's throwing stupid, get caught with an aimless left hook because they ain't paying attention. He ain't really fighting on skill. He's just basically fighting because he's probably losing the fight already. So he's trying to get his licks in and get caught with some stupid. Boom, he's asleep. That can happen to any fighter. All right. And he's also catching dudes on the ropes, just, you know, throwing punches, breaking them down. He does have good punch placement. I will say that. I'm not going to completely shit on dude like he's just a trash fighter type shit because he's not. He does have good punch placement when he catches you on the inside. He's really good with that. Give the dude that. But again, I don't see nothing special about Sabriel Matias. I don't see nothing like, ooh, ooh, mm, he gone, man. Nah, this ain't um, Janabek and a cannoli. This ain't him. Okay, when I seen Janabek and a cannoli, I was like, hey, that dude is going to cause motherfucking problems. Ain't nobody finna fight him. Like when you see people like that. Then you talking, but Sabriel Matias is a straight up and down, come forward fighter. No special effects. The one thing I give him, he got good punch placement. If you if he gets on the inside of you. And pause. He got good punch placement and he he has a, a good work rate. He got a good motor. Great. Cool. Awesome. But when he goes against somebody with superior footwork, with superior punch placement, superior boxing skills, they're going to give him problems every time. That's the kind of fighter he is. He's going to get all this hype. He's going to get all this publicity and all that until he goes up against somebody who is a real good boxer and they box his ears off and then he looks just like every other fighter that fights a fighter of that caliber and then it's gonna all the hype is gonna be gone unless he proved me wrong and he goes in there and he washes whomever that could be like a Devin Haney or Regis Pro Gray or Tiafimo Lopez he goes in there and washes those dudes then this video will not age very well at all but in my personal humble opinion, I don't see nothing special about Sabriel Matias. I do believe he is overhyped. I'm not going to say overrated because to say somebody is overrated, that just means their skill set or what he was projected to be skill wise was not what it is to be. OK, overhyped. Everybody talking about he is. He's a killer. Oh, Sabriel Matias, this Sabriel Matias, Sabriel Matias, Sabriel Matias, Sabriel. I think he's overhyped. I don't think he's overrated. I think he's overhyped. OK, so a lot of y'all going to get me fucked up on purpose, but that's what I think when it comes to Sabriel Matias. One.